How's everybody doing? Today I'll be reviewing Troll Hunter, the 2011 Norwegian film. If you've seen Troll Hunter, definitely let me know what you think of it. The film is subtitled, so obviously this might scare away some people who don't like to read while watching movies. However, I greatly appreciate foreign cinema, and in fact some of my favorite movies for the past few years have been foreign cinema, uh, such as The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Let the Right One In, Prophet, Secret in Their Eyes. So many great foreign films lately, and so many original films that or seem to be lacking here in the U.S. All the U.S. seems to do are remaking films and taking any kind of foreign film that has any little bit of success and just remaking it, and very quickly too. Such was the case with Troll Hunter, which they're already remaking. Just one more unnecessary remake. Further watering down a film industry that doesn't need to be watered down even more than it already is. In the case for Let Me In, the remake of Let the Right One In, and the remake of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, which is coming out later this year. It's just so quick with these remakes now. I don't remember them ever being so quick. And again, I enjoy all genres of foreign film, including comedic fantasy pseudo documentary style films. And Troll Hunter is a very unique film, and the trolls are less horror and more fantasy. The film is about three college students doing a documentary on bear hunters. And they're trying to track down Hans, who they think is a bear poacher, but it turns out he hunts something different altogether. And as the title suggests, he hunts trolls. And we're not talking about internet trolls here, no internet police, but actual trolls. Hans is the lone troll hunter in Norway and works for the government. Hans hunts down and kills the trolls once the trolls leave the designated troll territories which are set up by the government. The film is shot in a POV style much like Blair Witch Show. There is a lot of shaky cam, however it really works for the style of film. Think Blair Witch meets Where the Wild Things Are, but in my opinion Troll Hunter is much better than both of those movies. I know everybody loves the Blair Witch, but for me I was very disappointed that it was way overhyped and that movie was just all about marketing. That's a type of movie that anybody with a video camera can make. Troll Hunter is a very intelligent and well-made movie. So the three college students, they track Hans down and they're trying to get him to tell them what's going on and tell them more about the trolls. And at first Hans is reluctant to really go into detail about the trolls. And he's reluctant to allow the film crew to follow him. But then he allows them to follow him and film him as long as they follow his rules. Initially the three film students are taken aback by the claim that trolls exist and laugh at the notion. The first scene they film where Hans yells out troll is quite hilarious because it comes out of nowhere. Very unexpected. After the first sighting of a troll, the crew quickly changes their mind, and then from there the crew follows him around as he hunts trolls, and they're open up to a whole new world, one they never knew existed, one of fantasy and imagination. There are some particularly humorous scenes in the movie, such as when they're all trapped in the cave and they're hiding from the trolls, and the trolls fart. That just totally cracked me up, I wasn't expecting that, and it shows how self-aware the movie is and it pokes fun at itself. It's truly an imaginative film, and it's simple filmmaking at its best. There are some predictable moments in the film, such as when you don't see a certain cast member for half the film, and then you suddenly see them, and you know how that's going to end. The Norwegian landscape is particularly beautiful, especially with the snowy mountains and the water. Even with the fog and the rain, the countryside is quite remarkable. Even the shots of the small towns as well. It really makes me want to live there. The scenery really adds atmosphere to the story. Honestly, I was in awe of the beauty of Norway. The film shows you don't need a big budget script to make a great movie. The film is quite engaging and really taps into the kid in all of us who have been told these stories growing up. The film is very imaginative and I was quite engrossed and I really wanted to see what was going to happen next. It's a fun ride and the different types of trolls and all the details about them are quite intriguing. There are two species of trolls and several subspecies. It goes into detail about how the public doesn't know about them and the agencies that cover it up. And it goes in depth about the trolls and their habits and their lifestyle. And it just takes me back to my youth when I used to write and fantasize about monsters and zombies and things that used to go bump in the night. It might be too slowly paced and not enough action for some, but for me personally, I couldn't wait to see what would happen next. I found the actor who played Hans, Otto Jespersen, to have great screen presence. The CGI for the trolls wasn't mind-blowing, but it definitely suffices. The one thing I didn't care for about the film was the ending. I wish they would have gone another route with it, but with the same outcome, just by different means. I don't want to give anything away, but it definitely leaves the viewer wanting more, which is a good thing. I love how after the credits roll they say no trolls were harmed in the making of this film. Another nod at the humor in it and that it's self-aware. And it appears that everybody involved really enjoyed making the film. This is only director Andre Overdahl's second film and I can't wait to see more from him and from everybody involved with Troll Hunter. This film might not be for everybody if you're going into it looking for a summer blockbuster with Lord of the Rings type CGI and special effects or if you're expecting a horror movie with lots of scary scenes you might be disappointed. But if you go into this with an open mind and an appreciation for the imaginative then I think you will really enjoy Troll Hunter. And really, that's what J.R.R. Tolkien started out with, imagination. It takes the folklore of trolls and delves into it and modernizes it while adding the perfect amount of humor. It's not the greatest film ever by any stretch of the imagination, but I found it to be quite enjoyable, with the atmosphere, imagination, and humor being the key elements. 
Again, it's a very unique and imaginative film, and the trolls are less horror and more fantasy, and this is simple storytelling at its best. And like I said, it's already being remade over here in the U.S., which I think is a shame, really. It seems like any film that does well internationally, even just the slightest bit, they're already remaking it so quickly. And the remakes are just happening so quickly. I just can't even get over that. I highly recommend Troll Hunter if you're into fantasy films. Overall, I give Troll Hunter an 8 out of 10. If you've seen it, definitely let me know what you think of it. And I hope everybody's doing well. Take care.